is up guys, Son of Beast here. Game 3, we are ready to start with the Bucks at Philadelphia. Then, it will be the Western Conference as the Dallas Mavericks are at LA to face against the Lakers. That time, let's find out who will take the win and, and, um, and then the next player who wins this game will go up with 2-1, two 2-2, two two, two, Three, three, two. If, and if they win, then that will be the end of that game. That's all I need to know about it. If somebody will make the win right out, right out of the other team. I'm just kidding. I'm just serious. This might be the only statement that I'm just gonna be putting it up at. This one at Wells Fargo Center. But, it's, but we're definitely not gonna uh, tell you who will make the win and make the cut by that point. Do you think about? I'm I'm serious right now, but this is like uh, how uh, how everybody is look everybody's uh, coming up with a surprise look at their face. I know everything else uh, what what I played here. So if you have any favorite my career build using the playground, just uh, post a comment down below, and that will be my best point to have it here. Mine will be point guard. I can do that what I want to do. But it may not be enough uh, enough information to keep it going from here, so that's all I have to do. Now the Bucks are coming in and with the Sixers, as the game is sponsored by Express. So as for being said, Game 3 in Philly, here it is. This, this is a nice, a brotherly love, love town. Now, showing you in Philadelphia, for this game, this tied series will be as 1-1. One but this might be a very tough matchup here going in game three, like I just said. But a lot of producers will be uh, just coming up to a Greek free with just 29 points and five assists. I mean, he might be a little bit more uh, hyped up, but his teammates need some, uh, need some strategy to put it back in. Now let's check on Dave. Ben Simmons was the top rated player in high school and in college. And a fractured bone in his foot cost him his first NBA season. He said, a lot of people forgot about me. You have to build yourself up again. And for me, I wanted to prove myself again. Heaven, we all agree, has done just that. He sure has first Ben Simmons definitely uh, realizing about this because high school played. I forgot which high school did he play, so I have no choice to talk to him. Tobias Harris and Chris Middleton are the key matchups here in a small four. Then it is Richardson against Wesley Matthews, a shooting guard. Ben Simmons playing up against Eric Bledsoe in a point guard position. There's Mike Budenholzer, his second season with the Milwaukee Careers record, which is 326 to 3 Two, two, three, two, three, one. Make the right decision. Well, uh, with, the right and against to take the head coach by Brett Brown. Then Joel Embiid taking out Jackson against Brooke Lopez in the center. And finally, really Al Horford against Oscar Cupo in the point forward position. So here we go, fans. This is game three. Let's see who can take the win. Matthews outside. That's what we're just saying. Pulls up. Brooke Lopez grabs the two with the layup. That's his five. Matthews. Matthews. Brent Berry, still here with, uh, Brent Berry's here with the, uh, Kevin Harlan and Greg Anthony with a special guest, Bill Simmons. That's, that's the part of the ringer that I never, never realized about that. is going to flow. Things are... So, uh, I think the first shot was, uh, Tobias Harris that he made it to. Matthews against Richardson. Brown Horford, I have no questions about that. Rich rebounded by MB. And here's Simmons. He'll here's Simmons on the outside, covered by Bledsoe. That's the Richardson. The biggest contract in NBA history. This coming and suits it from elbow. Number two point are no good as I hunched the Kupo grabs the second. What's funny about this is they could have signed him to the max a few years ago. Oh, it's sent back by Horford. Oh, MB. Third attempt. There he is. So the shots goes in for Ashtokopo. It's this by Lopez. 535 remaining. And in a big way. If I was Giannis, I would be very spiteful about this. Simmons grabbing it in. Ashtokopo sends it back. But that's just me. Not just uh, not just the only player that wants to knock everybody down, but he's really hyped up. He did work out, and also he's practicing with his shooting. 
He guns it back. And Bucket goes in for Gokshikubo as Al Horford takes the first foul. With just 5 12 left. And yes, that did happen in the first season when Gokshikubo was just rolling down on the court and then dunking it in. That We've seen a lot of uh, previous seasons for Gokshikubo. One from season one against the Sixers, like I just said. Season two, as the Bucks played against the Pelicans. Season three, the Bucks against the Magics, and season four, Bucks against at Dallas playing against the Mavericks. We haven't seen what Giannis Santacupo did, but his career season was just um, was just killable by that game. In the way that he attacks every game, I think in the East seven to two as the Bucks lead by as Milwaukee lead by five. and full of energy. Simmons pass to Harris. Fills up the stats. Oh, Looks like Harris never got a chance to do it. Point outing in the last game. Oh, a dunk by Simmons. Great pass by Tobias Harris. That'll be his first basket and first assist for Tobias Harris. Nice finishing touch here. Everything's going really good. Builds in, blinds it back to Blitzo. Now pass to Matthews, passing it, rolling it over to Brooke Lopez. Middleton taking the three. It's rebounded by Simmons, his first. Four for the left. Matthews against Simmons. Simmons. That's the Al Horford. I would say the other way. I think they don't appreciate it enough. Especially like. Josh Richardson trying to pull up the screen. And B taking a two. Good. Right from the uh, inside. That's assist by Horford. That the 90s and the 80s didn't happen. I sense a real resentment from the underpants. LeBron versus MJ thing because LeBron's their guy. They get to watch LeBron. They don't hear that MJ was better. Joel Embiid's got his second basket of the night. The way things are now. What about, what about like the Oscar Robinson? Middleton taking a three. Oh, yeah. Uh, no shot made. One of each players never got a chance to make the three. But one of them could do it. Harris missing the three, covered by uh, Brooke Lopez. Now Middleton. Following, to Following up the layup is Middleton, and he Middleton has his first basket. He length himself, and he utilizes it there on the drive. The 76ers Sixers trail by three. Simmons trying to find, a, find an open Simmons man spot around. Pass to Embiid. Pass to Embiid. Embiid going in the paint. Tough shot, but that might be a foul on Chikupo, but he got stronger and better. Bledsoe did ma manage to make the three as uh, Richardson grabs his first rebound. From the field since we've gotten underway, Embiid picks to Richardson. Shots fake, right over to Simmons. And then Simmons makes a drive and a dunk is in. That was insane how, uh, how Ben Simmons treated it right way. Here's Giannis on Shakupo. He only has grabbing five points, six points, or even seven points. Can he be the second best? I'm gonna say it's seven points. That's what he made. to be that last year. On Shakupo with a three, rebounded by MB. Two thirty-five left. MB trying to look over around. Pass to Harris. He bounced past the Horford. Simmons with an open look. Terrific play. Terrific play for uh, Simmons to be open, but it's missed out wide. But as the number two guy now. And we got a foul on Embiid, his first, second team foul on Philly, the sixth, second foul, on, second team foul on the Sixers, Joel Embiid, a lot of improving information, not getting, not getting better at this. Ashikumbo will go to the line to shoot two. First shot for Giannis is good. Both teams will make some. Both teams will make some substitutions. DiVincenzo Hill and Connaughton are checked in for Matthews, Bledsoe, Middleton, and 
Ross Kupo switched to the center. Scott, Kurt Boss, Feibel, and Burks are checked in. By Simmons, Harris, Richardson, and Al Horford. And both free, both free throws for Ansu Kupo's good. And Bill, when it comes to NBA awards, some people have said voter fatigue is a factor. Would you agree with that? No, I actually think NBA awards are in the best shape they've been in because people are afraid to screw up. You know, that with the internet and the accountability we have. And so, doing Exactly. And we There's also, nothing anonymous about that. No. There's nothing more I need to know about that. Well, that's really good numbers and metrics. That's how I would feel. I actually think we make the right decisions with this stuff most of the time now. I didn't really see any egregious stuff last year other than the one person who voted Dwayne Wade for second team on NBA. You, I, uh, you get a vote, don't you? I do. Uh, I maybe there might be I do too. Yeah. I feel the same way. I, I really like, care. Our name is attached to it. Yeah. yeah. I also like when I wrote my book, I really relied on the NBA stuff. Like they're a snapshot of what happened that season. Good point. Well, thanks for a good point. Here. Looking to seize every advantage maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. So as for being said, uh, a lot of chances are pulling up to the Sixers to beat the Bucks in the home game, but sometimes they couldn't win it because uh, that's not their rival team that they're looking for at that moment. So the Sixers called time, Sixers called timeout out following up by by Scott, uh, Scott with the pass, and as, uh, as, as B drops, drops makes the two, as it's by court boss, and then it's uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo making the two. Scott coming in! The first foul is pulling up on Antetokounmpo, his first. Yeah, this all starts with the first team foul going on in Milwaukee. Greece and oh, <laughs> what's cool about it is they they all kind of have distinct identities and quirks and one of the things that makes so two shots are cut is on so the line for watches. Mike Scott he's not like anybody two. else like he's going to close to see how he can do but he's also that step back three that he was taking that he's been making his whole life other than Harden nobody was even really shooting it that way you know and. I think there's an unselfishness with the European guys that is really useful for the way the American style. 100% you know? agree. They yes. really, guys move without the ball, mm -hmm. it's give and go, and it's not just like clear out, I'm up. Yeah. Totally. Both free throws for Scott's good, and guys, first basket of the night. Here's Hill. Taking a look at Here's Gil. After his average uh, back in game two, he's definitely not picking up his pace uh, a lot more when he was going to shoot better. To oh, it's denied by Korkmaz. What a nice block here for uh, for the Sixers to put it back in. Scott taking another two. The Sixers could not find a uh, open shot made, and it looks like the tough defenders are just pulling out of way. Rebounded by MB. That grabs four rebounds. Always good. That won't shake his confidence. Still close call, close game going on, but we got down to one minute left. Burbaz, bounce pass to Feibel. Six on the shot clock. Six on the shot clock. The foul's going on Conate. His first. Second team foul for Milwaukee. Even from over here, you can and Feibel coming up to the free throw line will be Feibel. at the line already, making them both. And they've been going to nail both and make a one point well, lead. Just about 75% from the line. And they added a bonus here. Right. Definitely right. Two shots. Fireball hits the first free throw. And guys, um, I'm sorry to say about, I'm sorry to hear about it, but the, the, the finals was postponed. But I will be uh, rescheduling it to uh, June 6th on, um, I don't know what day, day is June 6th on, but I've got no choice in this. And they now he both made two drops and drops one point lead for the Sixers. The so I'm not sure what's going to happen here with the uh, next Hunter couple of games. Oh, that's the Kumbo with the dunk here. Go ahead and get in front of that. He's getting in front of it. He's like he's, he's on a streak without any miss. Well, there's only a couple missed shots that he made that he missed. Outside, Scott. But it looks like he's like powering it forward down. 
Scott will take the two. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. Sixers are going back to back with the wing, with the lead. Under 30 seconds, here's Giannis, covered by MB. It's stolen by Scott. Finishing the drive. Oh, he did the same thing, just like Mike Scott did. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to George Hill back in the other way. 13 seconds to go. Here's Hill. Hill shot went off. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. Three seconds to go. With the shot. Burks for two is off the mark, and first quarter has ended. 18 to 15 to score. A lot of close contacts are pulling up the Bucks and the Sixers. As the Sixers lead by three. Second quarter is up next after this. Second quarter is up and ready to go here as the Sixers take the lead by three. Here's Burks. Only well, last couple of games never got a chance to uh, to get back in because of a lot of man, a lot of substitutions are pulling it back right out of the books. Three second violation. No shot for the Sixers. That turns it over into Milwaukee ball as Embiid was in the paint. Now Connington's out and Kyle Korver is checked in. Great job, really, of making. Also, the Sixers are making changes here. Korkmaz is checked out. And Milton is checked in. Glenn Robinson, the third. Hill outside. Caught, passed up to Haley Sofa. It's re denied. Oh, no shot made here for Haley Sofa as Scott did have one blocked in. made himself into one of the top defensive wings in the league. Richardson says there's a certain competitiveness that comes with being a good defender. The defensive end takes will, and I have a lot of it. Kevin J. Rich is self-described as super competitive. That edge is what drives him. After the first shot for Burks, here's DiVincenzo outside. There's a screen on by Robin Lopez. A second rebound. It is a great D on Joel Embiid to stop by. Milton with the first shot. Good outside from the long range, and that will be his first basket for three. Conferences in the NBA playoff seating. That was Milton. Would have done a Robin Lopez going back in. Oh, split back by Robin Lopez. That will be his first basket after the miss comes up by George Hill. 23 to 17 to score. Burks trying to find a round. Pass to Milton. Only got three points. And it's a 2 2 1 1 1 series. What is the effect on the team? What is he, What ability do I need to know? Burks makes the three, and there's the triple for Burks after the two, then the three. Five points. Is on the board. Assist by MB. San Antonio was playing in the East. Down to five minutes. 26 to 17 is your score. Look at the map. Baltimore being in the West is. Robin Lopez going in. Defended by by Embiid, and then we got a timeout call by Philly, the Sixers. Stop the clock at 4:52. Robin Lopez will grab his second bucket of the night. Sometimes Robin Lopez uh, doesn't have any handlings with uh, with the, the other team of Chicago Bulls, but I don't have any choice to uh, to regret this. But that's all I need to go for. So. I, I don't have any patience right now for uh, Robin Lopez between Brooke and Robin. But for, but for anything that needs to uh, come up with the game, that's all I have to uh, think about. How uh, well they did. Now I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna switch this up a little bit. I'm gonna find some limits and then uh, we have to. Uh, we have to get, we have to go for uh, freelance. Yep, yeah, that's, uh, I'll go for the freelance. Now I'm gonna run in transition uh, to find the rebounds. Here are some new changes for Philadelphia. As Harris is back on the court, sub in by Glenn Robinson. And then as Al Horford checked in by uh, 
by Mike Scott. In for Ilya Sofa. Chris Middleton comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. Oh, wait. Al Horford subbed in by Joel Embiid. And then it's Harris subbing in by, by uh, Scott. With the shot for Robinson the third. He first missed one. Bucks are trailing. Milwaukee trailing by seven. Horford takes the first free. And that we got a first basket for three. Kyle Horford. <laughs> Not just the only man that was ever trading here from Utah Jazz from Cleveland. We don't have any choices to make out of anything. Richardson, covered by Corfer. They're rolling around that much. Robinson the third. Corfer for three. Bams it in. There's the and there's it goes. Flopping it in after all what Kyle Corper had done. He he first managed to make that three. Not just the only player that that we ever got one, but Al Horford did finally got a point back. Watch this one again. There he is, right in the middle. But no choice to make, but he definitely wants to manage it up to pass. But he wants it back. What is he up to right now? Does he have anything to go with? Rolling around from the other way to Glenn Robinson. Ben, ben Alford says, I'm back here. And he fires, and there's your three. Let's go with the ball. 350 left on the court. Bledsoe trying to go in. First drive going in for uh, Bledsoe as he's got his first basket. Field goals are updated for Sixers and Bucks. Only 58% for the uh, for Philly. Simmons passes to Horford. Al Horford taking the screen. Robinson dishes to Horford. Lopez, the the Robin Lopez made that block, while Giannis never sees that coming. That might be the first block for uh, for Robin Lopez. Middleton taking the three. Look, and they are coming in right on the start. Richardson looking around. They're moving around the ball. Sixers are losing the ball, but it's recovered by Simmons. Here's Richardson. Richardson's shot no good. Lopez has got four rebounds. That's four rebounds for uh, Robin Lopez, but here's Corfer coming in. Blesso in the corner. New changing man in group. As Robin Lopez had the screen out. Another shot for Robin Lopez and he ties it up. Assist by Bledsoe. Took a little bit of time, but now That'll be the first assist for uh, for Milwaukee. Putting his mark on this game. And They're moving around the ball. Here's what you said. Richardson against Corver. Didn't feel like he was not going anyway. Oh, foul on Robin Lopez. He went to grab his second block. But he won up in the foul. Went from the, uh, went from the penalty box to uh, the foul position. He shoots it well and enjoys playing the It looks like uh, Josh Richardson will go to the line to shoot two. No points made, but he would have found himself open with the, uh, to find the, uh, find a shot to go in the, uh, box. Take a break. It looks like two shots are coming in for Richardson. First shot for Robert for Richardson's good. Big grouping substitutions as Corfer, Middleton, and Robert Lopez are checked out. Merck Lopez, Austin Kupo, Wesley Matthews, and correct Middleton. Connaughton. I'm sorry, it's Connaughton. Sorry about that. But Marvin Williams, I, I don't know and if it so is right. To get one of two. But it looks and like it's one so. Connaughton going to look for the two to wind him up. Here's a shot. There he is. First basket for uh, for Pat Connaughton. 150 left to go. The Sixers are coming to beat the battling to, to win it out from from uh, since season one. Al Horford coming in, shoots over Brook, 
And Horford will take another look as he has got five points. Horford lights it up, gets excited when he gets That might be a first basket. And we got a personal foul on Richardson, his first, but no blocking foul. On uh, for Milwaukee, they on anybody. Free, free throws so far. But no blocking foul going on and on the box. A look at their free throw statistics on the season, uh, right around 74%. Pro Lopez will take one for the line from one to two. To take the fragment foul. I'm still hearing rumbling. Come on. Lopez, serves Lopez has made one, case study for someone and now they're going to come back in game over to time. keep it going. Almost in a season. So specifically, how to be he careful with the three-point uh, shot, the it's set made him such a for. valuable asset to this offense. Pass to so Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez trying to find himself clear. A minute 20 left here in the second. A second chance second effort. Second chance effort. Austin Kubo sending it back in again. Giannis has got 13. That's 13 no, for Giannis. On the inside. Richardson passing it to Feibel. And a special thanks back to Harris. Bill thanks for thanks for a special guest for Bill Simmons to be on to be on a presentation of the commentators. Harris over on to Kubo. We'll bring it to different kind of broadcast to Bill Simmons. Myself. Just 50 seconds to go. Oh, what a grip here! That's 15 for Antetokounmpo, and it looks like Bledsoe would have found something else. And uh, without any players being guarding, since he didn't want to make go in the cut in the paint, he wants to find something else to come up with. Suits over Connaughton. Antetokounmpo grabbing another rebound. That's nine rebounds for for Giannis. Connaughton with a three. It's rebounded by Horford. Sixers are trailing by four. Pass to Richardson. Passing it back to Harris. Rolls over to court box. Back to Harris. Harris with the three. Buries it from deep. Harris has got himself. Harris has got his first basket of three, and Giannis with no look. That is the end of the first half with a close call, 36 to 35 in game three. Giannis was just sending him out with the kill. But here's the but here's the day on the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, you guys were able to get the lead. What was the key to getting all those open shots? Uh, it was just getting stops, uh, getting rebound, getting out of the pushing, uh, finding lanes, finding open guys. And you make the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, Thanks DA. We'll right Second back. half is underway. Don't go anywhere. We got more to send out here in the Eastern Conference. We got the second half game ready to go here as the end, as the start of a third quarter is ready to start as we, as um, the halftime show is completely done. Let's take a look what Giannis had did. Sometimes he noticed that he wants to grab a lot of points, but uh, but in the block career season, he might need more than Joel Embiid did. But what if Joel Embiid never sees this guy playing? Then, then he will be, he will be really, really tough. He'll be really, really, will be really shocked already if he never got a chance to, if he hasn't seen Giannis making the block again. As we begin the second half. Simmons going right over to uh, six to shoot. Simmons pass to Orford to three. They bury the lead. Assist by Simmons as another three pointer will put up by Horford. That is eight points for Horford. First assist for Ben. For second assist will be on Ben Simmons. Eric Bledsoe going back around, around the other way. It's reflected. Oh no! No shot made in here with the block, but Joel Embiid. Brooke draws his second personal foul. Brooke Lopez would have got that ball, but it seems like he was not able to pick up a, pick up a shot he was looking for. He wasn't seeing the rim. Well, unfortunately, Brooke Lopez had just recently acquired that he was in the guarding position in the center. He knows how he can how he can handle the uh, shot, and and also with the defending block of all I need to know between Robin and Brooke. 
First shot going for Brooke Lopez. First one made for Barry's in. Well, he coined the name himself last season. Brent now it looks like Brooke Lopez is going to tie that up because this was going to be a biggest, biggest uh, back to back marathon. was also looking for some kind of deal. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it might be a back to back marathon. I don't know if it is, but I have no clue if uh, if we're going ever to see this again. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. It's really it's tough on a to play with the defense, but that's not yeah, that's all I have to uh, count on. Form looks good. Ben Simmons going back the other way. Here is outside. It seemed like he was not going anywhere. The best to Embiid. They're trying to fake it. Here's Simmons Here's with Simmons. the shot. Excellent D. Excellent D here by Bledsoe. 43% for the game. And uh, here he comes. Are they going to grab it back? Good, and, Good. and Brooke Lopez makes the lead by two. Seven points for Brooke Lopez. Seven for Brooke Lopez. Simmons rolling around to Richardson. Great ball movement for the Sixers to uh, keep it going from here. Now I need to go for the motion. He finds Simmons. Shoots over Bledsoe. And, and he missed again. Embiid out to Kupo. Oh, dunk it in by Antetokounmpo. He was saying, saying, that's it. Now I'm coming in. Then you're going to hit me that way. Get off of my, get off my property. Or the FBI is coming in. The FBI open up. Oh, and Brooke Lopez with the steal. To the paint. Nice, nice shot here for Antetokounmpo with eight to zero run in the last game by one thirty-seven per minute. Four forty-two left. MB drawing it back. They grab it, rebound it, passing the shot, going back the other way, trying to find a look with another shot opening. Harris against Middleton. Harris passes to Horford. Harris shoots over Middleton. Another miss by Philly. Well, this is what happens. They don't even like. They don't really care about what, what, uh, what shots they made. These players are are tough. Another shot by Antetokounmpo and a timeout called by the Sixers. 405 remaining. Giannis say, "I want to, I want to keep it going, and, and this trophy will be mine if we win in the at Eastern Conference, because this is what we, what this is what we live here for. Because uh, you notice that Giannis never got a chance to win the, uh, win the, uh, the finals. He wants it." And he wants to know if he can make it or uh, or the other player will take the trophy in a Western Conference. So it looks like someone's going to have to like, uh, someone's going to have to cover on uh, Antetokounmpo. That's supposed to be Al Horford. Baseline. Leave him. We need... We need uh, we need the other player to to, to cover Luck strong. If Al Horford was not doing really well, then you gotta leave him where he needs to go. Don't let him do it. That's all I have to care about. That. Here are some new changes here for the Bucks and Sixers. Scott checked in for for Tobias Harris. And Burks checks in for Josh Richardson. Ben Simmons with the dunk. And that's the third time he's been doing here with another slam dunk contest. Six points for him. 350 left. Sixers are trailing by six. Hill going to take the three. It is for another shot, didn't count it in. No points here for George Hill. Built in. Luck went too short. I'm a fan. I'm telling you what happened to Middleton. I thought he managed to make it from here. Williams takes a three, assist by Hill. That might be the first assist for uh, George Hill. Sixers are trailing by eight. Now they're losing the streak. 
And here's MB. He's got six. Taking the shot. Embiid. Shoots it up, and they came off the bar. Eight points for Joel Embiid. A lot of defensive breakdowns are pulling up on Philly, but not for the Bucks. They are keeping it strong from 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 home and road. Marvin Williams checking on the court. DiVincenzo with a wide open look. Shot. No shot for DiVincenzo as it wound up missed. Next, up will be a home game match jump against the Next home game, it will be game four. Bucks and the Sixers again after game three. And then the Bucks will be back home in game five. Shots off. Williams takes his first personal foul. Mike Scott going to take two free throws for the season. Good defense. A lot of great defense here for Mark Williams and other players, but it's a lot hard to focus on. I, I don't, I seriously can't, uh, I can't figure out what Mike Scott is. If he, if he wants to keep it out, uh, keep the game in and out. Not just a good choice, but, uh, but it's definitely a hard, it's just a hard play for the Sixers to stop by. Every coach will say it comes down to defense because that is something you can control. Last four seasons, the Sixers did play against the uh, the Bucks the first season, and then it was the Sixers playing up against Miami Heat. And I did this, and I did this video uh, back in season two, um, and in the playoffs, in the second round, then the third season, it was the Sixers at Minnesota taking on against the Timberwolves, and finally. In season four, I did four. Sixers versus the Warriors at San Francisco. That's their new place for our Golden State Warriors since the last time. Marvin Williams takes the first basket. The athleticism. Williams is sensational. That could be the first, that could be the second assist for George Hill. Two minutes to go by here in the third quarter. Passing it over to Milton. 52 left to play here in the third. Milton with the drive and the foul going on Connaughton is second. Two shots are coming up for uh, for Burks. But for everything I need to know about Milwaukee Bucks, if Pat Connaughton was going to play it again in next season, then he might be then he might be tough enough to keep this game going. Because you'll never know if he, if he stays with the team or gets swapped by another team. It would Milton take a taking lot two shots to not be successful over this stretch. First shot for Milton's good. Lopez, he's checked in. Now Robin Lopez checked in by Marvin Williams. And for the Sixers, they're making another change. Burks, Scott, and Simmons are checked out. Corkmaz, Feibel, and Burks switch in. Burks switches to the uh, point guard position. Also That's also good, good here for Milton, as he's got five points. From the chair Here's some differences here. for, for, for free throws. Bucks and Philly. Even Chenzo grabs the first two. Even Chenzo's got his first points in this one. And, and you got to love the big bucket in the paint. He, he hasn't got any shots here since the first half, but his second half did come in. Corkbaz with the shot bait. Fievel on the corner. Right around, and a layup's good for Fievel. That's six points for Fievel and making a great, great layup here. But some heavy contested shots are just way off target. But he did come back in. And so he'll bring it up for the Milwaukee He'll bring it back up for Milwaukee. Even Genzo, it's stolen by Korkmaz. On the let's catch up on David Aldridge on the sideline. David. Oh, guys, one of the things that the NBA has been forward thinking about is always accepting new ideas. And they've got a bunch of them on the table in recent weeks. A mid-season tournament, a post-season play-in tournament, maybe even reducing the 82-game regular season schedule. Now, all of these would be very bold moves, but Commissioner Adam Silver has always demonstrated a willingness to think outside the box. Kevin? DA, great assistant. DA, thank you, you so much for your so time. Much. Dilton makes the first free throw, following up by a loose ball foul called on Connington, his first. 
Hill is checked out with uh, Connick, with uh, I forgot what it else. Uh, Corfer and Connaughton are checked in. Connaughton switches to the shooting guard position, and it will be. I I don't know, but I'm just gonna be serious. So he gets him both. So he made two, and that is seven points for, for Milton. Milwaukee in the lead. Milwaukee still in the lead by two. Here's he might be looking for something He's around that goal. bunch. Connaughton having trouble to keep it going. 46 seconds left to play in the third. Connaughton, no luck. But it's off target. MV grabs eight rebounds of the game. What a play this is. Embiid looking around. He finds Feibel. Feibel going to tie it. And it's Robin Lopez with the block and DiVincenzo with the rebound. Corfer with the three. It's rebounded. Oh man, we got a lot of contacting fouls going on Philly. Feibel taking his first personal foul. Yes, Brooke Lopez was, was the only person that just had managed to make the free, two free throws and then another free throw. And now Robin Lopez is going to have to try to sting out. Stop the clock at 15.1 seconds. There's a lot of contact and fouls here. This is all troubling up for the defensive breakdown here on Philly. But the Bucks are hard, strong in offense. That one is off. And First one missed. Hachikupo is back in to check in by Ilya Sofa, Di Vincenzo, and Robin Lopez switches to the point guard position, and Brooke Lopez is checked in. All five players come out. Fiebel, Corkmaz, Robinson, the third, Harris, and Horford are checked in. Fiebel switches to the point guard position. So neither he didn't make two, but it looks like Lashley Cooper will get one. Again. Here's no time wasted with a free second call, but Lashley Cooper is sending out a number two. On the inside to get some extra possession. Harris for three. Yes. Close one to call, and we are going to the fourth quarter. 54 to 53 without any Bucks or Sixers scoring in position. Yeah, these few, these are heavy contesting shots. Sometimes they win, sometimes they lose, like I lose, like I just said. Fourth quarter is underway next after this. What a nice game this is, but let's have a quick moment look at the State Farm assist of the game. What a great decision here, what Bledsoe made, and he did finally put up uh, looking for a player without cutting in the basket. But all of a sudden, he knows what the alley oop was coming in about. He knows what he can do. He can find a pass to look for an open offense, or he can go with the alley oop. To give it a shot. Hachikupo! Oh, he made it again two times. Richardson grabs his second first goal foul. And it's Corver in at the three. And he'll take one shot. Richardson not comfortable enough. But he would have told him to leave him. Wondering what Giannis could do if he bulked up. Well, we don't have to wonder anymore. Yeah, I don't think we need to wonder about an MVP in the league. The curious thing, Kevin, was Last year after winning that award, Giannis coming out and talking about he's only at 60% of his potential. Can you imagine what's coming down the line if he realizes the other 40? He's something else. He made one. So long we've talked about the potential they're they're leading by five. When he reaches his prime. They're, they're, oh no, they're leading by four. I'm sorry. Winning an MVP award. Another drive here for Fiebel, and that'll be eight points. Most of the prime years for NBA players are starting to happen between 27 and 30. That's a scary thought, isn't it, Kevin? Four or five years more of growth from Giannis Antetokounmpo and what he could do at that position. But that jump shot comes along. We may be seeing an all-time great develop throughout his career in the next decade. My goodness, Anshikupo has 28 points, and if he makes the number two, that'll be 30. With an unbelievable score that he was playing. 
Now Horford taking the free throw line. Onto Kumbo saying it out with another rebound. That's 13. And there it is again. Bledsoe did the same thing without cutting in. Great toss that time for, uh, for Bledsoe to keep it back in. But I'm serious right now. What does Sixers have to do here? Five ball taking a three. The shot's good. That's 10. That's 11 points for Feibel. They're closing it in out by three. Bledsoe coming in the paint. Why not missing again? Great defensive pass set up for Horford, and that'll be two rebounds. 5.30 left. Maybe they did not have to uh, settle up with uh, with the tie of the score. Fireball going back outside. And he, we got a steal by Bledsoe. Matthews with the step back. He grabs again and dunk it. That's, that, that is 30 points for Yonsti Kumpo. I already told you he was going to make it again. He's doing all again. This time, his next game, he'll be in the finals. He's showing how it's done. Kirk Boz makes the two. Talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Sixers still trailing by three. Outside Corver. Corver against Cork Boss. He never got a chance to uh, to make another shot, but only Ansu Kumpo did. Blesso and the foul pulled on Harris. His first. Second team foul for the Sixers. Brett Brown seems to be not happy about, about Tobias Harris making tough shots here and that. And that will be that will be another foul pulling up on the Sixers. And shot selection. This is like a this is like a nightmare for uh, for the Sixers to play. Same thing, just like Dallas Mavericks. And Bledsoe hits the first free throw, and now here are new changes as Milton checked in for Corfer. What an incredible finisher he is! And two players are coming back on the court, and Bede and Simmons are both checked in by Horford and Richardson switched to the uh, shooting guard. And be a bit of a bulldog to get contact. Glenn Robinson and first checked out. Never has shied away from them. And he didn't get the second one, but only one did send him out. Only two. Yes! And Simmons didn't see that when they were coming. He says, he says, don't you dare, don't you dare trip me up. That's a good sign. the six shots. They are going right over the shot on the court. Looking really well. Bledsoe passed the Bledsoe with the pass open. Pass to Matthews. The freeze off target. No good for the three-point range. Richardson going to go in with the two to tie it up. But he passed to Horford. Now Horford. Horford looking around. Finding something better. Where my players at? MB with the lead. It doesn't go in that time. Another missing three for MB since he never had a chance to take the first one in. Lopez outside. Lopez outside. Matthews on the wing. Josh Richardson rolling it back around. Brooke Lopez, nobody around. And that's an off target here. Another miss here for uh, for Milwaukee Bucks to find another three. But only a couple threes made it allowed. Harris for the lead for the tie. It's not a it's not a three, it's just a two. Bledsoe with the lead. Good outside assist by Yachikupo. 305 remaining. Hold the ball tight. Well, he managed to not shoot it anyway. Not to talk to the other players, but they're like having some hard time to keep it going. Simmons going to take it from here. And we got a foul going on Bledsoe. Too many contacting fouls on Milwaukee. And when Simmons is taking it, well, probably Simmons is saying, "Don't you dare mess me up." Love this guy. You know why? He get he gets blocked up. Almost got almost got himself injured. 
I'm going to bring him to the medical medical attention to for for Ben Simmons. Two shots for Simmons. Two forty four left. First shot for Simmons is good. Matthews is checked out as Steven Chenzo is checked in. Not a better career here, but he never got a cha chance to make that shot in the second half. In the fourth quarter, one more shot for Simmons. He didn't hit two, but only one free throw for Ben Simmons would have made that in. Nice see here for Embiid, and that will be 10 rebounds. They might want to tie that up, but I don't know what's going to happen right now. This could be hard. Embiid going back around. And they double up Embiid. Two points for Richardson. Another miss by Sixers, and Josh Richardson would have seemed like he was open already, but not that long. Important thing is for players, just don't think about it. Andre with a strong move, 32 points. Two minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. And more and more, the team trusts him in those moments. Van Simmons for three. Good! Outside for the range. Timeout Milwaukee with just 151 left. Sixers are trailing by two. Looking for a comeback rally by each player. This might be a tough contestant since season one that the Bucks scored. It might be hard enough, but could the Sixers take the win in game three? We'll see what happens. Before we, before we move on, let's head to the Jordan player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo, which is slamming in with just 32 points. Now he has 434 points to catch them up right behind. All four players are checked out. Only one player has some, as, uh, is still, still on the court. Oh, Giannis with just 36, timeout, 76ers, 142 left, and it looks like uh, the Sixers are going to have to make a switch, here's DA. He knows this has been a hard part game. He wanted his guys to just sit down and catch their breath. He said, look, we're right in the game, guys. Let's make a little push here. Let's come out with some bite. Kevin? You look at Andy Kumbo really making a difference here. A smart move here. Talk things over. He's really eating them up, and they've tried a few different looks defensively. Nothing quite getting it done. Simmons outside. 140 left. O'Quinn going back the other way. He's helping out. Great shot from the elbow, and that will be his first basket for O'Quinn. He's out there looking alone, but it looks like one of the other teams are just trying himself out. Their first foul for the reach will be on Scott, his first. Third team foul for Philly. But it might be too soon to keep it from here. I'll stay right here. Looking over again with the shot. It's rebounded. And the shot for Antetokounmpo slammed it down. Feels like he would be more comfortable to keep it going. Burks drives it in. Nice glass touch for, for Alex Burks. Great uh, pass by Oakwood, but it looks like he went around by DiVincenzo, went around going in a windmill, but he wound up unsuccessful. He's so close getting there. One minute left. Scott against Antetokounmpo. Throws off at the free 50 seconds. DiVincenzo bams it in outside. No cover on two to three. Made five more points for uh, for the Bucks for for Sixers than the Bucks did. Oh, Scott went outside. Astro Quinn. He kicks to Robinson. Kicks it off to Robinson. 
Simmons taking the two. Good inside the line. Timeout. Milwaukee. Final timeout call for for Milwaukee to settle up. But the six, Sixers only have one timeout remaining before uh, before uh, they get back on the court. So it looks like now now I'm gonna have to go with uh, with uh, with just two to three zone. And now I'm gonna do uh, is to make a uh, limit and then get one of the shooters open because that's the only last key for the starters. I mean, not the starters, for the last five groups. No substitutions made here for Bucks and Sixers. 25 seconds, Bledsoe. Ben Simmons would take the would take the fumble. Not a tie. And now they're gonna need to tie it. Let's see if they can. Will he do it? Uh, close game that time, but the Bucks wins again. Same thing like season one did. Well, what a tremendous game here for the Sixers, but the Bucks keep out with the number win victory in game three. They, now they lead the series two to one. 30, 75 to 72 is your final score. Let's check in with David. Thanks, Kevin. Brooke, congrats on the win. What are your expectations for the team right now? Uh, very high. You know, everyone's um, been coming together, you know, we've uh, been excited to close the season out the right way. And now, uh, you know, we're, we're gearing up for a great one, great run of the playoffs. Looks like you're rounding into form. Thanks again, bro. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you so much, DA. Thank you all guys for watching for this uh, special of Eastern Conference matchup of Bucks against the Sixers in Game 3. We will see what Game 4 will look like if the Sixers can come back again. And same thing, just like uh, uh, Dallas Mavericks and the Lakers. But they're on next. So see you guys on the next video of the playoff position. And as always, peace out, bitches, for as a while as the NBA playoff dial of Eastern Conference. So long.